guys. It's good to see you guys again. <laughs> I'm such a dork. <laughs> anyway, so this morning I got up, I was like, ooh, I know what I'm gonna film today. I'm gonna try to look cute, make my hair look cute and whatnot. So I jumped in the shower, washed my hair, conditioned my hair, jumped out of the shower or rinsed it and then jumped out of the shower, started drying it and it was so crazy. The conditioner just hard. It takes forever to get that conditioner out. And I kept trying to, I wonder why my hair kept getting greasy after two days. It's this shampoo. Um, I love it. It smells great. It's not, but the, it's just gotten heavy. So it's a strengthening shampoo because I've got certain little hairs right here that tend to thin out. So I just want to make them stronger and stay put. And I constantly have flyaways. It doesn't matter what I do. And the gray hairs. God, we need to open back up as a society because mama needs her hair done. Mama also needs her brows done. <laughs> so we need to just get this stuff rolling and moving. I'm I'm done. I mean the because the box I can do a temporarily do a box, but they the lot they don't really don't last that like, that long. Anyway, and I'm terrible with my hair. My bathroom will look like a murder scene when I try to color my hair. All right, so I've digressed into that story. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, so I want to talk about contouring today. A lot of people have asked me about contouring, like what do I use, where do you put it, you know, how do you highlight. So we're going to start with determining your face shape. What is your face shape? So if your face shape, if the whitest part of your face is right here in the forehead, you're gonna more than likely have an oval shaped face. If the widest part of your face is right here in the cheek area, you're gonna be more of a round face, which is what I am. If you have a, have a square jawline, you're gonna be square. So, and you do have different type of, types of jawlines. So I do have a rounder jawline, which means I fall in the round face. If you have a square jaw, you're more likely going to be in the square face. And if you have a pointy jaw, if it just points down, you're going to have more of a heart-shaped face. And here are some examples of that right up here. And now we're going to move on to what is the length of your face? I have a short face from top to bottom it's just short it's not long so I'm definitely round if you've got a longer face and you've got a longer jawline you're gonna fall in the more into the oval family so all right so let's just move on to next so I'm only gonna show you where I put it on my face and then later I will post a I'll put up a picture here of exactly where like different face shapes and definitely where you put it so I'm gonna do that later and I totally forgot where I was going so let's just go ahead and get started I'm going to use my favorite thing which is the um, the essence contour kit I love this one because it's it's a cool undertone and I don't like orangey stuff on my face most of the time for this I don't so I'm actually going to, you can do something like this. Or you can do something like this. And I think I'm going to use this today because I want that nice clean line. I, I just did a brush video. I showed you a couple of things that you can use for your brushes. So I'm just going to dip in and you're going to feel your cheekbone. And you're just gonna, I just put that little line going down right underneath that cheekbone. And then I blend it. Now, if I were doing, you don't want to take it too far down. I mean, you could, I mean, with a longer face, you could, but mine's so round, I don't want to take it down that far. So I like how I kind of tapped it in and then I blend it out. Freckles is not happy with me right now. He hates it when I film. 
he absolutely does not like it. He throws fits. He starts barking. I can't tell you how many times I had to stop this video and start over because he just kept, he would not stop. And I haven't quite figured out how to, people talk about fixing, uh, fixing audio and whatever. I haven't figured out how to take out his barking. So I just start over. So we're gonna go on the other side. Here's where my cheek just under my cheekbone. And then I have loved this brush. Absolutely loved it. When all this passes, I'm going to get me some softbox lights because the lighting in here is terrible. Okay, that, I'll deal with that. Alright, so the other place you want to put it, if you're a round face, is going to be right up here in the jaw, in the, not the jaw line, in the hairline, and then I blend it down. And then you can kind of you kind of take it all the way down. Basically, you want to make the E in your face. And then you want to go on underneath the jawline. I don't do this very often. Alright, so I normally don't contour under the jawline because I think it makes me look ridiculous because I have all this right here. But maybe not, I don't know. So the next thing we want to contour, as far as the facial structure, that is what you do for a round face. Now here, I'm going to pop up a picture right here. And that is going to be of the different face shapes and the dark the darkness in those the brown spots are where you put your contour and the light spots are where you put your highlight so the next thing I want to contour is my nose not everybody might want to do this um, some people don't I used to never do it sometimes I do it but I like doing it but now my favorite brush I've decided I don't like it anymore for this I don't know what happened so I'm gonna use this little fluffy angle brush they do make brushes for this but I don't have one so now we're gonna contour my nose I start with the fluffier end like right here not at the bridge just just under it and I tap a line Why I like this brush so much is it was fluffy. So you could actually apply and then take it and blend it out if you needed to. And that's what I'll do. And I'm not really on top. I'm just like really on the edge. Kind of like. But you don't want to get it so far down where it's down here.
And you want to be careful not to get it too far down here because then it just, <laughs> you look funny. All right. So sometimes if you feel it's too dark, it's okay. You can take um, your foundation brush or your sponge, whatever you used, whatever little is left, and just tap it over and it kind of buffs it out. So it looks a little bit more natural, even though the rest of my face does not look natural. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna talk about blush. Uh, since I have a round face and bigger cheeks, generally, you don't wanna put it on the apples of the cheeks, cause that brings the cheeks more forward. However, I do find myself loving that, I love that look, like, I don't know why. So I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab a fan brush and I'll be right back. Okay, so I grabbed my little duo, duo fiber or my synthetic fan brush. And this is how I used to do it all the time. And that was, let me find. I'm gonna use my, this is Floor Power from MAC. And I'm going to, Kind of focused it on top of the bronzer and then blending it both in. Technically that's really where you want to be putting it right here. So much darker. The lighting in here is absolutely terrible. Anyway, so okay, so going back, if you find yourself with under face and it kind of goes in, that you really want to keep the blush on the apples of the cheeks because that'll bring everything else in your face forward. So if you like me, I want to thin out my face, which is why we did this. So, but if you normally, if you don't need to contour right there because you already have high de defined cheekbones then you really wanna keep that blush on the apple of the cheeks and then it brings the rest of your face forward. My verbiage is terrible and I'm super sorry. <laughs> I stumble over my words all the time. I know exactly what I wanna say, but they come out just mumbo jumbo. So this little brush had some powder on it. And I'm gonna take whatever little powder is left and we're gonna blend everything in. All right. I'm happy with that in this mirror down here. Now highlighting. My favorite highlight brush is the Real Techniques brush. I went over that in my last video. Now I'm going to highlight for you. I'm going to dip into the MAC. This is Double Gleam. This is my new favorite. I truly get that wet skin look off of this. We're going to start right here and we're going to go down. And when you get most of that off, then you wanna kinda of bring it up in here. And I make sure it's all good and blended. I love this, cause it's got a high shine and no glitter. It's so pretty. Start right here in the high point. And you can, if you've got several different highlighters you like, go ahead, use them all in the same sitting. It is okay. Basically, you're wanting to lighten up the high points of the place, of the face. Oh my god. I need to write out my entire tutorials. And just read off a sheet of paper. High point and right here. Okay. So really, that's how you contour your face, but if you have a different face shape, go Google uh, face shapes, contouring face shapes, and they will give you different pictures of different face shapes and where exactly you place your bronzer. And then you're going to have to try and keep working because if you don't get it the first time, you keep going again until you get it and not every day is a hit. As much as I'd love it to be, not all of my makeup days are a hit. <laughs> I'm okay with that. 
All right, so I'm gonna try something different I've never tried before. Contouring my lips. I really don't know how this is gonna go. <laughs> but you're gonna go on this journey with me. Okay, so I'm gonna take my um, Nitty Gritty Lip Liner from Dose of Colors. By the way, Dose of Colors is rapidly becoming my very favorite brand for color. I, I love them. I'm supposed to get their foundation on Friday, and we will see. I'll do a video on that one too. All right, so we're gonna start by just kind of lightly outer lining the lips. Now we're gonna draw a little line. This makes no sense to me. It does not. All right, so I'm going to take my finger and kind of mush some of that out because this doesn't make any sense. If you do a dark color and try to contour your lip, don't even bother because you can't see it. All right, so now I'm gonna take this. This is from Revlon. It ended up in one of my packages somehow. It's a pretty coral nude shade. like the picture. Nailed it! I like the color of lipstick. Okay, but one thing I can tell you, you do want to highlight the, the bow of the lip, which we did when we highlighted. And then you want to take your contour powder and a little brush, and you want to go underneath the bow of the lip. This is going to actually help it um, look more fun. It does. It, it just kind of gives it that shadow to make your lips look like it's plumped out. I think I will actually go back and overline my lips a little bit more and then we'll put on some gloss and we'll see where we are. better. Now we're going to put on some gloss. It's going to help soften that. Oh, I'm going to use the Fenty Fussy, the perfect pink brown gloss. All right, so they did talk about cutting out a lip. I have not mastered that. I have definitely not mastered it. I'm looking at this picture of a girl with like perfect lips. I wonder I can't get it right. I don't have her lips. But I love that gloss. It does make it look a little bit more plump. But if you want to cut out your lips, I'm gonna get a little bit of this elf concealer. I know that elf, it's a good concealer, but dang. That pulls out some product. I'm gonna use this um, angle blender brush from Morphe. We're gonna see how that works with this. Cause I don't care for it for my eye my eyeliner. This works better for me than all the, the lining and the marking and... I don't know if y'all can tell on camera, I can tell a little difference.
what this does is actually just kind of cut your lips to make them look more pouty. <laughs> anyway, and that is it. That's all I have for contouring today. This is not, I keep stumbling over my words and I'm so sorry, <laughs> but um, that is it. If you do have any questions, please, please, please leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I really encourage you to because I'm learning. I really want everybody on this journey with me. I'm learning everything. Some makeup, some a lot editing. <laughs> um, Oh, I'm so in love with that process like I can stay up all night trying to figure it out I love it so that will wrap everything up for you guys thank you so much I love you all so much I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in my next video y'all have a great afternoon bye